Good morning and welcome to the beautiful country of Fiji. We spent 10 days in Fiji and absolutely loved our experiences in this beautiful country. And in this video, we're gonna share with you guys what we did to hopefully help inspire your trip to Fiji. To get there, we took an 11 hour direct flight from LAX airport in the United States over to Nadi, which is the main island on the Fiji Islands. This is the Viti Levu Island. And then from Nadi, we took a one hour Fiji length flight from Nadi Airport to Savu Savu. After that, we spent a lot of time exploring in Fiji, which we absolutely loved. We also stayed at the beautiful and amazing Namali Resort. From there, we did so many incredible activities that you can do in Fiji, including snorkeling in the soft coral capital of the world, Fiji. So many amazing waterfall hikes you can do just soaking in the beaches, eating the delicious food, getting to know the Fijian culture and the coconuts. I swear, best coconuts ever. It was amazing. And then we hopped back over to the main island, the VT Levu group we, in Nadi. We got a day tour. So we thought that on the main island, there would be a lot of those, like what you think of Fiji, like white sand, blue water beaches. But actually those are all mostly off of the main island. If you're on the main island, there's Natadola Beach, which you can go down to that has that beautiful blue water, white sand. But other than that, we did a day trip with Captain Cook Cruises, which we booked through Tingley, where you can book experiences all over the world. We did a day trip up to Tivua Island, and it was such a gorgeous experience. That was the classic blue water, white sand beach, private island we did snorkeling we did oh my gosh so many amazing activities again food got to know the Fijian culture we also did a sunset cruise it was absolutely amazing so strongly recommend that for your trip to Fiji Captain Cook Cruise Line also offers up to like seven or eleven I believe day cruises that take you all around Fiji you explore all the different islands but we also really want to come back and explore the Yawasa island chain this is a chain of islands off of the main island of Fiji that has all that like is so clear blue water beautiful coral reef for snorkeling and scuba diving strongly recommend there are a lot of beautiful resorts that you can stay at on all of those islands we personally love staying at the namali resort on the vanua levu island but there are so many amazing places you can stay depending on your preferences in fiji as well there are also nature and mountains that you can explore not just beaches one of the popular spots a lot of people will go to is the Sleeping Giant Park area. There's a botanical garden there. You can walk through the rainforest. There's a little waterfall. It's really cool. There's also a couple of mountains that you can hike in Fiji. You just have to search like hiking in Fiji. We were going to do that, but because we visited in the rainy season, a lot of the roads were washed out and it's actually too dangerous for us to go hiking. So strongly recommend checking that out before you go. For packing in Fiji, I would strongly recommend rain gear because it did rain a lot during our time there given it was the rainy season. Um, but then the sun would quickly come out, we would go out, explore, we loved it. Another tip, if you are a digital nomad like us who works remotely while traveling, well, the Wi-Fi situation in Fiji was not up to par for working. If you're going to vacation, amazing. But if you want to work, we even went to cafes. We went to Fiji's first co-working cafe. The Wi-Fi was not up to standards yet, um, but that's just a tip to know. Other than that, we loved getting to know the Fijian culture, the people. We On the main island in Nadi, we stayed at a homestay with a very kind Fijian family. They cooked us delicious Fiji Indo fusion food, which was amazing and absolutely loved our time in Fiji, strongly recommend it. pictured Fiji would be like with this deserted tropical island. We have the crystal clear blue waters, the white sandy beach, the mountains in the background. 
This is paradise. Oh my god. everything that I imagined Fiji would be and more. <laughs> yes, we did this on Cook's Cruises. Captain Cook. Cook. Captain Cook. This is Tavua Island. Yeah, it's their own private island and it's so stunning. It's everything that I pictured Fiji would be and more. And that's a really annoying tapping sound. So we're gonna redo this. <laughs> it means it's lunchtime. up the Captain Cook cruise. It's Fiji's only cruise line and it was such a marvelous experience. The day flew by, it was activity packed. We absolutely loved it. it what was, was your so favorite much activity? Fun. So they broke up two coconuts and we were eating them. They were playing songs as the, the whole crew was playing songs. It was so cool, so magical. Everyone's singing along, it's great. So magical. We were basically on this private island the whole day, yeah. exclusive to Captain Cook cruise guests. There were so many activities like kayaking, snorkeling. There was a glass bottom boat. There were private cabanas. There was delicious Fijian food. What else? We saw reef sharks, all kinds of <gasps> yeah! snorkeling expeditions we sea did. Sea cucumbers. There's starfish. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> so cool. We saw starfish. It was so awesome. Yeah. And now we're about to head out on a sunset cruise with the same company, Captain Cook. We booked these experiences on Tingly. Tingly is an awesome platform where you can book or gift experiences to people. We are all about experiences over things. And so Tingly is an amazing platform where you can go and do that. They have so many experiences all around the world, everywhere from Fiji to the United States to Europe Iceland, and more. Everything. It's been everywhere. So, much fun. so amazing. And another fun fun tip about Fiji time, especially for us coming from United States and the Washington DC area, everyone is like on time, you gotta do it on time. There's a saying in Fiji where everything is on. Fiji time. Yes. So, so that's yeah. definitely an adjustment for me where I like everything to be like on time yeah. but, but when you're in Fiji adjust to Fiji time yeah. <laughs> something to know about traveling to Fiji in March slash April is that it's very rainy but the way we've been navigating it is basically anytime there's Sun we're like run Let's go. <laughs> yeah but that is definitely something to know as you can see right now we're headed out on the sunset cruise we're trying to stay optimistic but yeah you can see here we're still excited we want to have a good time it's gonna be great yeah please be sure to like comment and subscribe it really helps support our channel and let us know what you want to see in future videos
Should we bite? I don't know. We'll find Wait. out. 